What is Gog and Magog? In the book of Revelation, Gog and Magog are referenced as nations that Satan deceives in the end times. Now when the thousand years have expired, Satan will be released from his prison and will go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, whose number is as the sand of the sea. Revelation 20, 7, 8. According to this passage, after a thousand year period, Satan is released from his imprisonment and deceives the nations across the earth, specifically Gog and Magog. These nations are depicted as being gathered together by Satan to wage war against God's people. They went up on the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city, and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. The devil, who deceived them, was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Revelation 29.10 in this vision, Gog and Magog, along with the deceived nations, surround the camp of the saints and the beloved city. However, their efforts are swiftly thwarted as fire comes down from God out of heaven, consuming them. Additionally, Satan, who led them astray, is cast into the lake of fire, joining the beast and the false prophet. The depiction of Gog and Magog in Revelation highlights their association with the forces aligned against God's kingdom in the final battle. Their vast numbers and collective opposition symbolize the magnitude of the conflict between good and evil. Ultimately, this passage emphasizes the ultimate victory of God and the eternal punishment of those who stand against Him. This is the end of this episode. Follow for more.